All right, people living in Encinitas were trying to stop a homeless parking lot from opening near two schools, but that appeal has been denied. Fox 5's Jason Sloss joins us live from North County with the decision. And what's next, Jason? Hey there, well, we're right in the parking lot that the city of Encinitas plans to use for a safe parking program. It's right next to the community and senior center. I just talked with the mayor who says this is a program that helps get people out of homelessness, but many just do not see it that way. Instead, only that it will make the community less safe. Plans to move a safe parking program for the homeless to the Encinitas Community and Senior Center appear to be a done deal. Wednesday night, the Encinitas City Council denied an appeal to stop the project from moving forward. Beginning next month, the program will occupy 31 parking spaces outside the center on Oak Crest Park Drive, allowing the homeless to stay overnight from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. And have always had concerns not about the program in and of itself, but um, the fact that Encinitas has become a magnet for uh, homeless people in general. Stephanie Wheeler is among the many residents who have fought against the city's plan to use this lot, which is right across the street from Oak Crest Middle School with other schools nearby. There's middle schoolers that um, are going to be walking through this lot day in and day out. Encinitas resident Stephen Gherkin filed the appeal to block the move and has a child who attends Oak Crest. There wasn't one single mention of what they're going to do to protect our kids. During the city council meeting, San Diego Union High School District Superintendent Dr. Cheryl James Ward also made a plea to city leaders. What I'm asking you is not that you not have a homeless parking lot, but that you not have a homeless parking lot across a driveway from 800 middle schoolers who are very vulnerable themselves. For the past two years, the city has run another homeless parking lot at Leech Tag Commons less than two miles away. Time has run out on that spot, operated by Jewish Family Services, which will also oversee the new lot. Opponents argue the lot now in use is safer, more enclosed, with a gate that closes at night. And they worry the new location will lack any real security. They're going to create a homeless hub right here in the middle of six, eight schools um, on a busy street um, where there's just a lot of vulnerability for seniors and the kids involved. Mayor Catherine Blakespear says the program helps prevent homelessness and helps the homeless get back on their feet. So, you know, helping people who are in need is a really important value. This was the right thing to do. And at the end of the day, this program helps people and it hurts no one. And so this is the kind of thing we should say yes to. And the mayor says the program will start in this lot next month, and it's expected to last for a year. Live in Encinitas, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. Certainly not the last time we hear about it, Jason. Thank you so much.